Now another point uh, that we can see here is oftentimes it's interesting to see whether the image has, is upright or inverted, upright or inverted image. Uh, an upright image has the same orientation to the axis as the object, and an inverted image has the opposite. Uh, we might be already able to label these then, so what type of image would we have here? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? We want to decide whether our image is upright or inverted. Uh, well, just like a guess, does this look like upright or inverted? Uh, upright or inverted image in this picture for this lens. Is it, is it inverted? Yeah, that's right. Um, to me, at least, that seems uh, kind of intuitive because the object arrow is pointing up, and this is inverted. This one is pointing down. The technical definition is an inverted image um, has the opposite orientation to the axis. Well, the object here is pointing up from the axis, and the image is pointing down from the axis. So this really has been inverted. It really does have the, uh, it's been inverted around the axis. An inverted image is one where the image has been inverted or, inf or reflected around the object, uh, around the axis compared to the object. This is one reason why it's usually a good idea to draw this axis through the center. So this is what we would call an inverted image. Uh, well, how about this image, upright or inverted? Upright. It has the same orientation to the axis. So here we have an upright image. And when you're ready, how about this image? Because both the image arrow and the object arrow are pointing up from the axis. Oh, I'm sorry, what, what did you say? Inverted or upright? I said upright. Good. Yeah. Well, there must be some mathematical way to signify that as well. We need a mag uh, mathematical way to signify whether something is upright or inverted. And it turns out that the, the variable m also does that. The variable m has two jobs, does double duty. The variable m tells you whether something is magnified or shrunk. And it also tells you whether it's upright or inverted. The magnitude of M tells you whether something is magnified or shrunk. And the sine of M tells you whether it's upright or inverted. Uh, well, what would be intuitive? Uh, if something is upright, does it seem intuitive for that to have a positive M or a negative M? I'm sorry, I'm sure, take your time. I'm sorry, the question again? Does it seem intuitive that a positive M would go with an upright image or an inverted image? It seems like it would go with an upright image. Yeah, it seems intuitive to me. Upright is a positive sounding word. Well, again, conveniently, that's the convention that was chosen. So an M that's greater than zero indicates an upright image. And an M that's less than zero indicates an inverted image. Uh, so going through here, what can we say about the M of this inverted image? That it's less than zero. All right. Notice now I'm not putting in the dots because these are not magnitudes. Here we're focusing on the sign. M with the dot tells us whether it's magnified or shrunk. But the sign of M tells whether it's uh, inverted or upright. Uh, so how about this image? What can we say about its M, positive or negative? So the question was, when you're ready, um, looking at this image, should it have a positive M or a negative M? It should have um, a positive M. And the, the, because it's upright. Because it's upright, yeah. What we've learned here is that the sign of M indicates whether something is upright or inverted. Well, we saw this was an upright image. So M here would be positive. Ah, how about this image? What would the sign of its M be? It would be positive. Okay. Now, in, in a way, it's kind of unfortunate that we're using M for two different things, because that makes it easy for people to get confused. They forget what the magnitude tells you and what the sign tells you. So it's important to have this, uh, to really think about this clearly. If you look at the absolute value of M indicated by the dot, you compare that to 1. And that tells you whether the object is magnified or shrunk. But the sign tells you whether it's upright or inverted.
for example, what does it mean if I tell you that m is positive 5? Well, first thing I would do here is look at the magnitude. And I would say, well, g, the magnitude here is bigger than 1. And that tells me that this is a magnified image. So I use the dot to indicate that I first focused on the magnitude. But then I would focus on the sign. And I would say, aha, m is positive. What does it mean when m is positive? Well, I've memorized that that means an upright image. So this one number here has two different pieces of information encoded in it. The positive sign tells us that we have an upright image. And the, number, the magnitude that's bigger than 1 tells us that we have a magnified image. Look at another example. How about if m equals negative 4? Well, first of all, I would look at the magnitude, and I compare the magnitude to 1. We compare the magnitude to 1. It wouldn't make sense to compare the magnitude to 0, because magnitudes are always bigger than 0. We have to compare it to 1. Um, so I'll use the dot for that. Well, this magnitude is bigger than 1. The magnitude here is bigger than 1. And I know that that means that the image is magnified. Well, this shows us how important it is to uh, really think clearly about this. Uh, notice that it shows how important it is to focus on the magnitude. Because after all, negative 4 is less than 1. Negative 4 is less than 1, but it's bigger than 1 in magnitude. The absolute value of m here is bigger than 1. And that's what matters for whether something is magnified or shrunk. Not whether the number is bigger or less than 1, but whether it's magnitude. So that's what the dot indicates. Um, and then we can look at the sign, which is 0. And we know that a negative sign means an inverted image. So this is another good example of how there's two different pieces of information encoded in the same number for the magnification. Okay. So let's say that m is positive 0.7. Uh, take your time, but tell me, what are the two pieces of information encoded in that, uh, in that m? What does that m tell us about whether this is magnified or shrunk and upright or inverted? It's um, shrunken and it's upright. Huh? Sounds good. How do we know that it's shrunk? Because it's uh, less than 1. The magnitude is less the magnitude than 1. Is less than okay. One. And how do we know it's inverted? Because uh, the sign is positive. Ah, let's take our time on that. So uh, is the sign, yeah, the sign is positive, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's upright because the M is greater. Yeah, upright. Zero. Did you say inverted? Maybe one of us no, got I, confused. I think I said upright. Oh, okay, maybe I got confused. Okay. Okay, so the correct answer is um, that it is positive M that's upright, and the magnitude is less than 1, so that's shrunk. Okay, good. And what do we know about this image that has a magnification of negative 0.8? It's shrunken and it's inverted. How do we know it's shrunk? Because uh, its value, the magnitude, is less than 1. Yeah, the magnitude with the dot is less than 1. Uh, and how do we know it's inverted? Because n is less than 0. The sign is negative. OK, good. Looks like you got it. All right, but even after people get this, it's easy to, to get confused. So we have to remember the magnification is complicated and think separately about the magnitude and the sign. Remember, the magnitude tells you about magnification, and the sign tells you about upright or inverted. Maybe just as a memory aid, magnitude has the same first four letters as magnified. So the magnitude of M tells you about the magnification, and then the sign tells you the upright or inverted. OK, so. Let's take a look. at your handout again. So now we've gone over the magnification conventions. Upright is positive, inverted is negative, and we see what upright means here on page one of the handout. The image is the same orientation as the object or opposite, 
And they also, even though these are not signing conventions, we also squeezed in the magnitudes. So those have the dots. They don't appear very big. But the dots here, the magnitude less than one means shrunk. Magnitude bigger than one means magnified. So here's a lot of our key ideas. 